Just when you thought that being tone deaf is actually an attribute, the BCCI decided to postpone the IPL. Remember, it's not being cancelled. In a country where people are clinging to hope, in the hope to remain alive, the cricket board is hoping that they can restart the IPL priorities are usually skewed. But the BCCI's priorities are pretty clear, none of the team owners have said a word. No, wait, Ness Vadia did say to CrickBuzz. This is the number one tournament in the world. Not just in terms of value, but also for its adaptability. It is the league that is the most flexible, adaptable and adjustable. Whether the move to South Africa in 2009, to UAE in 2014 and 2020, and whether it being held in India the in most grueling of COVID situations and circumstances, it always emerged strong. There won't be any impact on the league in future. The decision to suspend is right and I am sure they will hold it again. Wadia's statement will tear you up. It's not about lives or that India is literally gasping for breath, but that the IPL is so flexible that it can continue even when the fire at the crematoriums can outshine the floodlights at the Kotla. Honestly, when it comes to arrogance, it's difficult to beat the BCCI. Just check what Arun Dhumal, the treasurer of the BCCI said to Indian Express on the criticism against the IPL. There are people who are experts in criticizing. That is their expertise. We believe in doing the best we can. It's a hallmark of BCCI and we tried our best. We don't go by people's criticism. We gave it our best shot. Is anything a surprise anymore? Not at all. When you have a board whose hallmark is to conduct a tournament during India's worst pandemic where death and sickness follow you like a shadow. Cricket being tone deaf is actually archaic.